desesperación pura. ¿eh? Muerte, sí, sí. Y doy gracias de, de haber llegado hasta aquí porque ha sido una noche agónica, agónica. Y pensé que ayer a las 12 de la mañana, no, a las 10 que le vi el vídeo que se me quedaba, ¿eh? This is Victor Argel. Today we're telling you this beautiful rescue story from the World Animal Awareness Channel. Our collaboration with the channel is helping us reach more and more people, get a wider audience, as well as fundraise in ways we couldn't do it before. Please watch this video. It's a full rescue story. And please don't forget to donate at the end. It's an animal world out there. Watch the World Animal Awareness Society channel and feel right at home. Come, sit, subscribe, and stay a while. Hi, today I bring a new rescue case. It's a puppy. A few days ago, I received a telephone call. On the other side of the line, there was a lady, very stressed, very sad. You could see that she had, you know, she was under a lot of stress. She told me that a few days earlier, she had gone to throw the garbage and when she opened the garbage container, there was a little puppy there. The puppy had an injury in the throat. Somebody had to slit the throat like this on a little puppy, not even a kilo, it was really tiny. So they took the puppy to the vet. They stitched her, they put some staples and she seemed, she seemed like they stopped bleeding and said that she was gonna be okay. But very quickly, they noticed that uh, the puppy couldn't eat. Everything they tried to feed her, it wouldn't go through. She would, she would throw up. And they fed her with a liquid diet, baby bottle, and some of it went through, but most of it she would throw up. So when it reached that point, and the vet suggested the euthanasia, there's nothing they could do. The puppy was gonna die. Then she went around and started looking for for animal rescues and people that uh, could help. Spoke to several hospitals. They said that they couldn't help her. Spoke to several rescues. Nobody was gonna take the case. And then they told her that in Valencia, in our city, there was a very, there was a crazy hospital and, uh, and a rescue group that were taking impossible cases. And that's how she found me. When I heard the story, I was so sad. I was, uh, it's a little puppy, but really tiny. I didn't even need to see the pictures because she explained it so well. I'm not giving it, any, giving it any justice, really. So I told her to please come as quick as possible. I, we needed to see this. I had, a, had an idea of what the problem was. So she drove for hours and she brought the puppy to us. I've called her Gordy. Gordy means uh, fatty, like chubby. You have to see her. This is Gordy. Pura, ¿eh? Muerte, sí, sí. Y doy gracias, 
Me voy a llegar hasta aquí porque ha sido una noche agónica, agónica. Y pensé que ayer a las 2 de la mañana, no, a las 10 que le vi el vídeo que se me quedaba, ¿eh? We suspect that Gordy has a congenital condition called persistent aortic arc. It's, uh, it's relatively common and very often when you see a litter and you see the rat of the litter, you see that one that is not doing well, that is becoming progressively weak. That's probably a persistent aortic arc. With this condition, there is a, a, there is a constriction of the esophagus. So no matter how much the animal eats, it doesn't go through, so it stays in the esophagus, and the esophagus becomes bigger and distended, distended. In the end, the, the animal dies of uh, starvation. Can't eat, can't drink. In nature, these animals die, and uh, there's nothing uh, anyone does for them. But uh, in a way, we're here to beat the odds of these animals. In nature, they have no chance but with us, they can make it. Somebody slit the throat of that little puppy. Somebody tried to kill Gordy, and then they threw her on the garbage. And they did this probably because she was not being able to eat properly. So this is Gordy's case. Just look at her. She's so beautiful. We need to save her. If we do, this puppy will have a great life. She will live 15, 20 years, has a great life ahead of her. But we need, uh, we need, to, we need to, to do it and we need your help. Under this video, there's gonna be a, a link. It's a PayPal link. You can donate there directly to her or you can join us on Patreon. You can help us uh, continuously take cases and save lives like Gordy, like Lucy, like so many others. There's thousands of animals. We save so many. You see that this channel never stops? It's because we never stop rescuing. Hi, this is an update on Gordy, the dog we rescued about 10 days ago. She was found in a garbage container with her throat cut. After she was treated and the injury healed, they realized that uh, she wasn't able to swallow. There was another problem. It's called persistent aortic arc. And for that, she needs surgery. When she arrived to us, pff, my God, it was a, such, a, such a disaster, you know not being able to swallow whatever she ate, she will throw up, uh, always at a constant risk of pneumonia. Really, really painful. So at first we, we just had to evaluate. We did, a, we did a, a procedure called fluoroscopy. And then finally, last weekend, we placed a feeding tube. Now this feeding tube goes directly to the stomach so there is no more risk of regurgitation, of throwing up, and this will stop the, the increasing of the, of the mega esophagus, which is gonna be a problem down the line. So yeah, so this is what we did, what we did uh, this weekend. I received these images from Spain. As you know, I'm away on, on a holiday with my family, but this was important enough for me to update on, you know, on, on this as Gordy. So please have a look. This is what we did uh, last weekend.
o es que está en los huesos. Gordy was rescued two weeks ago with a massive cut here on her throat. After she was stitched, they realized that the food wasn't going through. She was she couldn't swallow. So, I mean, really panic because it's a really complicated disease. We perform a tube that fits her directly into her stomach. And this is buying us time. Now she's growing. She's becoming stronger. And in a few days, as soon as I come back, we will be able to have an open heart surgery that hopefully will fix her problem forever. So I asked my brother to send me a quick video and show me how she's doing so that I can I can show you how she's being fed and I can show you her mood and everything. Tell you she's doing great. She's in a super high and she's really good mood and, uh, and I'm very confident that everything is going to be okay. For now, this is Gordy and this is one of her feeding sessions. Just please have a look. Cordy was rescued about a month and a half ago. Somebody slit her throat, she was stitched, and then we realized that the food wasn't going through. And this was caused by a genetic condition, a congenital condition called a persistent aortic arc. So she was too young to be operated, too weak. So we had to place a tube directly into her stomach to feed her, to make it strong, for her to grow up a little bit more so that she could go through this very complicated and, and you know, difficult, difficult heart surgery. So of, during this, this time, she's been doing so much better. She's grown up a little bit and, uh, you know, her mood is excellent. So I just wanted to show you some images of her and so you see how she's doing today.
What am I going to tell you about Gordy that I haven't said already? It's one of the cutest dogs we've ever rescued, and it's one of those dogs that really captures the imagination of people. I receive tons of letters every day asking about Gordy. Everyone wants to adopt her, and it's really, this dog is just incredible. Now, you're going to watch how Gordy is doing today, but first, let me begin by telling you a little bit of the story first. Gordi in Spanish means little fatty, and I'm now I'm now thinking that it was a good, really good name because wow, she is eating so much. She's loving food. At the moment, we're feeding her 50% from the mouth and 50% still from the tube. We want to go step by step, gradually. But I tell you, she's looking amazing. Here is Gordi.
Vámonos, Gordi. Hola. Hola. Hola, bombón. Sí, sí, lo he ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa, mira? Venga, vámonos, Ale, no muerdas más. Vamos.
gusta. Es irresistible ella. Es irresistible. Ya verás. Me encanta. Es chulísima. ¿Qué pasa, Bella? ¿Qué pasa, Gordi? Ya verás, tío. Ya verás, Vamos arriba. a soltarla ahí. Bueno, sí. Vamos a ver, venga. Vamos, Gordi. Ya está. Ale. Venga. Uy. Uy. Ay, por Dios. Uy. Arriba lo que hay. El terremoto. El terremoto ahí arriba. Perdí. Qué guapa es. Es que es Stars are aligned, we will dance in the meadow on our favorite place when spring is coming. Otro eso, mm, y tú también. Bueno, estoy encantada de conoceros. Y va a estar, vamos. Ay, sí. Ah, que sí. ¿Eh? So nice, so nice. Look at this.
When Gordy arrived to us, she was practically dead. We managed to save her through a series of procedures that enlarged her esophagus so that she could eat and she could, you know, she could survive. She grew, she was adopted, and she lives in a wonderful home. Unfortunately, as she has grown, the, the, the width of the esophagus has become insufficient. So we need again to do a series of procedures to enlarge it again to her real size today and save her life. Gordy is back at the hospital. We need your help. Please, if you can, donate. Help us save her. Thank you. Gordy has gone through a procedure this morning. Uh, it's gone well. It's gone well. Uh, I tell you, I cannot explain how moving this is because we rescued her as a little puppy uh, when she was about to die and she has become a beautiful beautiful dog uh, but one dog that still needs our help watch this this is uh, Gordy getting ready for surgery There she was, like if nothing happened, and uh, when in fact the team was getting ready 
to to put her in the, in the surgery room. Now, what we had to do today was we had to open her mouth, we had to introduce a catheter with a balloon, and then when the catheter was inside the esophagus, we had to enlarge the balloon so that the esophagus will expand and then she'll be able to swallow again. Mm, I know surgery videos are you know, not very popular and nobody wants to see this, but watch this because it's beautiful and because it really shows the passion and the, it shows you know, how much we do for our animals. I'm very proud to be able to show you this. This is a gorgeous procedure today. Well, Gordy did very well during surgery. Now she's out of it, she's recovering. She's gonna, she's gonna have a good weekend, resting, very peaceful. And then probably next week, we will have another procedure to enlarge it further. I think uh, in no time, she'll be able to go home. So guys, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for your help and support. And please don't forget that everything we do here can only happen thanks to the help and support of our friends. Just. If you want to help us continue saving lives, please click here.
Hi, it's uh, me, the Let's Adopt Show from home. Our videos used to be great. We used to go around saving animals. We used to travel around the world to rescue or to deliver them to their homes. But now with the lockdown, I'm using this opportunity to remind you of some old cases, of cases that were rescued years ago. Some were more recent. Many of you were here when it happened. So this is gonna bring you good memories and others, uh, some of you are new. So this is uh, gonna show you what we are capable of to save a life. Today, I'm gonna show you one of our most beautiful rescues of last year, a puppy that came to us in a horrific condition, truly horrific. And in the end, well, you'll see what happened. Her name was and is Gordy. Treatment lasted for months. Cordy had to be operated several times. It was a really complicated process and she was, she was just that close to death so many times. But she made it and she turned into a, to a beautiful, although very, very interesting looking dog. Uh, this is the day when I took her home. Have a look.
aquí está. Mm. Es irresistible ella. Es irresistible. Ya verás. Me encanta. Es chulísima. ¿Qué pasa, Bella? ¿Qué pasa, Gordi? Ya verás, tú. Ya verás, Vamos arriba. a soltarla ahí. Bueno, sí. Vamos a ver, venga. Vamos, Gordi. Ya está. Ale. Venga. Ay. Uy. Ay, uy. Ay. 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 Arriba lo que hay. El terremoto. Un terremoto ahí arriba. Perdí. Qué guapa, eh. Es que es precioso. So it's just you and I. And I tell myself you'll be back again. Stars are aligned, we will dance in the meadow on our favorite place when spring is coming. Otro eso, y tú también. Bueno, encantada de conoceros. Y va a estar, vamos. Ay, sí. A que sí. ¿Eh? So nice, so nice. Look at this. So, what happened since I left Cordy at home? Well, she's had a great time. Uh, she became best, but really best friends with Ernesto, Ernestito, the, the other dog in the home. And she has a wonderful life. She has grown up, she has filled up, but she still has this puppy face, you know, very playful. She's so spoiled. Uh, really, this dog has been so lucky, so lucky. We were very careful in choosing the, the perfect family for her. And I think we did well. I think uh, we did very well. It's an animal world out there. Watch the World Animal Awareness Society channel and feel right at home. Come, sit, subscribe, and stay a while.